Absolutely beautiful. The perfect song for today. Joining me now via Skype from Ireland, Bella Duo, Connor Toggart, and Victoria McClements. Thank you so much for joining us and making our St. Patrick's Day special, bringing us a little bit of Ireland today. Thank you for having yes, us. It's thank fantastic you. to be here. It really is. I love your story. You have to tell us how it all started. I mean, like I said in the beginning, you were friends, but you know that changed. Yeah, to be honest, it was. It's a lovely little story. Um, we started singing together at, at weddings, um, and then really we we became best friends. And the job's very intense because you're in lots of different venues. And and then really at the end of February, start of March. COVID hit and we had to make that kind of decision as a couple to, to lock down together because we, we both have underlying health conditions. So we decided to do so at Victoria's grandparents' house. And from there, that's really when everything really blossomed and Bello Duo came about. If there was anything good to come out of COVID, that is something good to come out of COVID. I love um, also you two would sing to your neighbors. Tell us about that. When everybody was locked down, what you were doing. Yes, so when the lockdown hit, we decided that the best place for us to stay would be my grandparents' house. And while we were there, the neighbours, they knew that we loved to sing and they were like, well, maybe you could do a song or two for us. So we started doing it on the Thursday nights and every Thursday night, the neighbours would come out and stand on their doorstep and clap for our wonderful health workers and all our frontline workers. So we took songs that we thought would be really uplifting and give people a glimpse of hope during a really difficult time. So that's actually how Bell Duo came about. It was it was a blessing in a way that coronavirus actually gave us the opportunity to expand our music and sing songs that we wouldn't have had the opportunity to do otherwise. And then that led to us actually producing the album because we took those songs that we were singing on the doorstep and thought, if we make this into an album, we can spread it even further and give people that little glimpse of hope during a really difficult time. I can't imagine what that was like for your neighbors. I wish you lived near me because it was so emotional when everyone did go outside and clap every night. That was just so emotional. But but to hear your voices, your singing must have been just amazing. Oh, well, it, it was lovely to do. And obviously some of the songs were the big ballads like Danny Boy and You Raise Me Up. But then we did do some fun stuff as well. And they were dancing on their doorsteps. Yeah. And it was nice. Because I think everybody was just longing for some freedom and to get back to a normal way of life. So we really enjoyed it. I love it. Now, your first album, let's talk about that. Uh, the title, Out of the Darkness. Perfect. Yes. So we decided to call it Out of the Darkness because the songs on it are to give people that little glimpse of light. So the likes of the prayer, the, the words are so motivational and inspiring during this really difficult time. So that's where the inspiration came for that. Now, you, you know, your, your videos went viral, but you really got this audience in a place that I would not expect, right? You're, you're, you went number one where, in, in South Africa? Yeah, the version of, uh, our version of Danny Boy got number one on the South African vocal charts and number four on the UK vocal charts. And that, to be honest, we are as surprised as everybody else <laughs> of all places, but it kind of just shows you, you know, put stuff out there and you never know what might happen and we're big dreamers by heart you know yeah. it, it's very difficult as a musician because you have to be kind of realistic and say you know I, I need to earn money to live and maybe I can't sing forever type thing but I think we just really went for it we had nothing to lose we were locked down and it was it was really nice but we've been we looked at the we saw the music video we just saw another picture of it so beautiful where did you shoot those scenes yeah, so, well, Danny Boy wasn't actually meant to be on the album. Uh, it wasn't one that we sang on the doorstep, but we were out having, um, about an hour away from where we live, um, a little look at possible locations to film um, some of the other songs from the album. And then we came across uh, Dunmerva Castle, and we just thought, yeah, this might be a really good place to do Danny Boy. And I don't know why, like it was my, my Nana's favorite song. And I suppose for people in Ireland, it's quite, it's a very famous song, but it would be considered quite an old song. And obviously as a young couple, it wasn't something that we had done before, but for some reason that day kind of in, inspired us. And then we went and we worked with Paul Mahan from Croc Recording Studios and wrote our own arrangement of it and kind of really liked it. Did you both always want to be performers? 
Yes, I think <laughs> so. We both have done lots of musical theatre stuff and then Connor has done a lot of stuff within jazz and he had his own wedding band and that kind of stuff. But definitely for me, the dream ever since I was little was, well, I want to grow up and be a singer. But it is the kind of thing that you have to keep your expectations low because you don't think you'll actually be successful in it. So I think us having this time to actually really work on our voices and sing together as well. It's so lovely to have such a wonderful relationship with each other and be able to share our past, our passions. You know, I was always joking when I was a child and my parents would always say to me, oh, you're going to have to end up with someone who sings because you never <laughs> shut up. So... <laughs> I'm very lucky that I have ended up with Connor, who also loves to sing because he sings as much as I do. <laughs> well, your harmony is so beautiful together. And, you know, your parents are always right, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly so. Yeah, it, it's been nice. You know, obviously, a, a lot of the work that we tend to do during the day as such before COVID was singing waiters at weddings. Um, and how that works is we're actually dressed up uh, in disguise. And normally what happens is I'll fall with a tray of cutlery. So there'll be a big smash in the room as if, oh no, the waiter's gone down and people kind of run over to help. And then suddenly we, we jump up and the music starts and we burst into song and we have napkins in the air and we get conga lines going and we finish with Ness and Dorma to kind of get them on their feet. And it's a really nice experience, but I suppose from that side of things, we wouldn't have got the opportunity to do songs like that are on the album because um, it wouldn't really suit that type of clientele. But I think that's why the time of COVID and lockdown has been so good for us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it's another St. Patrick's Day where, you know, things are sort of locked down in many places. If it was a normal St. Patrick's Day, how would you guys be celebrating? <laughs> <laughs> Probably be singing somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we, I don't think, I think for the last five St. Patrick's Day, I, I've been singing somewhere, but... It's, it's a really good vibe, um, especially in Dublin. We have lots of big parades. People have lots of local keelies. Everything's green, but everything in Ireland's green anyway. Um, and I suppose, although it's beautiful, we suffer because all it does is rain. Because um, we, we, we always say to people, they say, oh, you know, it's, it looks amazing and it's green, but we just get the drizzle all the yeah. time. We're, I think in American times, you guys get it where it's just kind of like a big spell of rain and then it stops and you get sun again, whereas... Yeah, it rains a lot here, but we are very lucky um, to live here because it is beautiful. The wow. day actually that we were shooting our music video, it was about minus two degrees. And I was standing in a dress and in heels that were sinking into the sand and into the muck. And we were freezing. It was so, so cold. But we were very lucky that it did stay dry. Oh, I will have to look at the video in a whole new way now and really appreciate how you did that so beautifully. And I would love everyone can see your videos on your website. Give us your website, please. Yes, so it's www.belloduo.com or we're obviously on Facebook and Instagram at Bello Duo Voices as well. Um, you can watch some of the videos and we, we have some new videos hopefully coming out uh, yeah. near the end of March, start of April. So that's quite exciting as well. Oh, we look forward to that. Thank you so much, Connor, Victoria, for joining us and, uh, you know, making our St. Patrick's Day special. Thank you. We'll be back with more CFN Live right after this.